We gotta keep on. You know damn well that boy ain't last until morning. Look at him. Nah, you're gonna help us get where we need to go. Freedom's Path is written and directed by Brad Smith. This is his third feature film. A story about honor, bravery and freedom set in the midst of civil war. After a Union soldier named William flees from battle, rescue comes from Kitch, a free black man operating a section of the Underground Railroad. But when a ruthless slave catcher discovers the secret network, he conspires to bring it to the ground. It may not be a big budget period piece movie, but it is still technically remarkable. Production design is spotless, and location shooting adds an extra layer of realism to the whole story. The photography excels in a movie with daytime scenes, nighttime scenes, during sunrise, sundown. Natural light is beautifully captured. Night scenes lit by just a candlelight or fire in the woods look great as well. An absolutely delicate work that totally pays off. I felt as if the movie threatens to become a little bit overdramatic from time to time. But since there's always something happening story-wise, it manages to never fall too deep into that department. Smith's script delivers a clear message. War is always cruel and senseless, no matter the time period. And the relationship between the two main characters represent all of those that always get caught up in the middle for good or bad. Ewan Bramner as the leader of the Slave Catchers was hands down my favorite character. I don't think I have ever seen him playing a villain before, but he was for sure on point here. In spite of its lengthy runtime, Freedom's Path delivers a harrowing story about standing up for what's right and never take one step back about choosing compassion over violence and the importance of bonding, even under the most grueling circumstances. So I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. Thank you guys as always for watching. Freedom's Path has been recently released on VOD, so if you happen to see it, please feel free to return to this review and just drop a comment below. I will continue doing both English and Spanish reviews on my channel, so if you would like to subscribe, that would actually be awesome. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.